move Alan here. Um, I've got this nice big box that just got delivered from FedEx today, which my wife signed for. Um, so what I got was a Prusa i3 3D printer, and I'm gonna be doing an unboxing today. So this is a Sun Hokey 2015 edition Prusa i3. Um, I got it from 3D printers online, but you can also get it from AliExpress. So it's a very reasonably priced printer. It was right around $300 US. Um, shipping was included. Shipping time was excellent. It was about 10 days from, I think, when they got the order. But from uh, China to the east coast of Canada, uh, down here in Nova Scotia. So shipping time was excellent. It spent about a day and a half in customs. Um, FedEx did really well. I was watching it as it, you know, traveled across the boat. Uh, customs was not too bad for price either. Uh, there was some import cost, uh, but shipping itself was free. Um, the reason I picked this printer here uh, was that it had, it's a Prusa i3, so it's a well-established uh, model, um, and as well the printer model itself from Sun Hokey has pretty good reviews on both 3D printers online and AliExpress, um, as well as, you know, there's a Facebook group out there for it and some other things, so there's, it seems to be well-supported. Uh, it also has a Bowden setup, which, uh, I'm a Bowden extruder setup, which I'm interested in using, um, as it makes the carriage lighter and uh, I'm pretty excited to get, get into it. I will be doing an unboxing today, but uh, in the future I hope to do some build videos and then some kind of what I got out of it at the end. I have used the 3D printer before in my education in the university and with my uh, work, but I have not built my own one nor have I used my own one um, per se. So I'm quite excited to crack this open and see what's inside and hopefully nothing's broken. If I've forgotten anything or you have any questions on why I ordered this printer or uh, where I ordered it from or things like that, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Um, I'm not a big Facebooker or Twitter, so I don't really have those, so just leave a comment down below. So let's see what's inside the big pretty box. So here we go. I haven't opened this yet, so I got my handy dandy knife here. Um, and let's see. So we got uh, some filament. I asked for a black and a white ABS filament. So we got some white filament here. Yes, 1.75 millimeter. Some white. And then we got some black. Or ABS. Black ABS. Good, good, good. Then we got a North American plug, which is good because I kept seeing people get, you know, the wrong plugs, but North American plug. So we got a whole bunch of pack packing lists here, and I'll have to go over that in detail later, make sure I got everything. Now we'll just see what we got in here. Everything looks pretty secure so far anyway. We have some, a nice uh, CD with a bear on it. Some cable wrap, that's good. Uh, USB cable. And then we come to the parts. And this is kind of what I was worried about. I did hear of people getting cracked uh, acrylic parts. So let's see how we're looking. That looks good. So they're all pink looking now. It is clear acrylic, um, but they're just coated in a, a film uh, just to make sure it doesn't get scratched or anything like that. Lots of little parts. I'll have to go through them in fine detail, make sure there's no cracks or anything before I start assembling. But from a first pass, looks pretty good. So we got aluminum heat bed here uh, for the printer. So that'll be nice. Um, it'll be nice to be able to stick something to. Maybe in the future, make a uh, auto bed leveling system using the aluminum. Um, there's a couple nice videos on that, so that might be something fun to try out in the future. So lots and lots of acrylic parts here. And first blush, they're looking pretty good. Let's see what else we got in here. Get some more styrofoam in there. Uh, we got, I think it's the power supply. Yep, here's the power supply. Make it all go. Uh, nut. 
So we got two styrofoam, the two threaded rods for the z-axis, the two nuts for the z-axis, one, two, some more threaded rods here, and some smooth, uh, some smooth rods for the all the axes, uh, and we got the, the uh, motors all here, nicely covered up in the, in the styrofoam, all in their own little individual spots, so I won't pull them out. They're nicely tucked away, so you know, don't make a mess if you don't have to. Uh, we got the, the linear slides. I don't think these are bearings. I think they're just bushings more than bearings, but they're here as well. Some tape and some electrical components and a little mini tape measure here. Um, oh, some tweezers as well as some Allen wrenches and some bigger wrenches, some pressure wrenches there, a little fan. And then all of the nuts and bolts and everything to assemble this sucker. So I'm going to have to look at the uh, the instructions on how to build this because there are a lot of little itty bitty parts coming around. Uh, we got the belts and some gears uh, and some connectors for the smooth rods as well as some bearings in this little bag here. And then the hot end. And I think it's a uh, E3D V6 clone, so I'm gonna see how well that goes, and if it's not performing very well, maybe I'll be purchasing a new hot end soon. Don't tell my wife. <clears throat> and then we got all the electronics. So this comes with a uh, printer board, or a board here anyway, some heat sinks, uh, some end stops, that's an end stop here, some more end stops, and an LCD panel. So we got the extruder here, uh, it's a well, looking like a well, uh, so a, a uh, stepper motor attached to the extruder here and everything. Pretty tight, it's got the Bowden feed on it, um, so we'll, we'll see how all that works out. Looks pretty slick anyway. So that's really everything that comes in this big box here, everything looks pretty good, nothing broken, everything pack was packaged pretty well. So I'm pretty confident that it's all survived the trip from China. Um, so I'm pretty excited to get started to put this together. As I said, I will be doing some build videos. Um, they may take a little while. I do have to look at the instructions on how to get all this thing together. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, and then I'll put a nice little review together at the end of it all on how it was to build, um, kind of the skill level required, if anything went wrong, how to not do that for you guys. Uh, as I said before, if you have any questions about the, uh, the kit itself, or why I chose it, or where I got it from, or the whole process, uh, leave a message down below and I'll get back to you. So that was super exciting. Um, so I'm gonna get, get to work on figuring out how to put this together, and uh, I'll, I'll get a build video up soon. So I'll see you in the next video, guys.